It has been a very hot mess morning. I got the refrigerator, freezer, all of that cleaned out. So she was like, we'll let you know. I don't know if we're gonna get to come. So obviously we went into like worried for grandma, um, praying that she's okay. And then also trying to figure out what we need to do in terms of, is there a plan B if his parents can't come help us this weekend? How are we gonna do this? Um, Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. If you are new, I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. We would love to have you join us. I show real life. This is not a perfect page. I'm not a perfect person. And we show just our daily life. I also show hauls, taste tests, recipes, moving content, because that's what we're in the middle of right now. We're in the middle of moving from Indiana to Arkansas. And it is moving week, so we are T-minus three days, I think, <laughs> three days left. We have today, tomorrow, and the next day, and then we're moving. So yeah, we're really getting down to the wire. It has been a very hot mess morning. Um, my son, Nate, has autism. I know most of you know that. And sleep is an issue with him, not all the time. But sometimes, and when his routine is off and things are kind of crazy, which it's been, um, it can be worse. So he actually asked to go to bed last night. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm also getting over bronchitis. I'm still coughing. Um, he actually asked to go to bed last night around 7.30, 7.45. Um, and he went right to sleep, but he woke up at 1.30 in the morning. And he never went back to sleep. So... I am exhausted, like exhausted doesn't even begin to tell you how tired I am um, because from about 11 to 1, Mark was up every like 30 minutes crying. Everybody's just very unsettled, I think. Also, it was a very emotional night for Lucy. She was very upset last night about everything and thinking about leaving her friends. And it was just a really, I don't know, everybody, every single one of my kids were just off last night. So um, I am tired, but we've got too much to do to not just keep going. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I made myself a latte this morning, get some espresso going in my system. I still wish like that espresso would kick in a little harder, but it's already 10 o'clock. I've kind of sat around and looked on my phone and did Wordle and did my Bible reading and stuff like that. But now I've got to get going with our day. So today is the day that Grammy and Grandpa are coming. Um, but David told me they're not coming till like later tonight, like once I get the kids to bed later tonight. So it's still pretty much a full day with me just working and taking care of kids. Of course, my big kids are at school, um, but I've got Mark here. Um, also, David was planning on coming back tomorrow, but I asked him, like, is there any reason you couldn't come back today? Because the, the house is, there's nothing else really that they're going to do at the house. I think it's pretty much painted. It's, it's you know, they've cleaned what they can clean without us being there. And um, I'm like, I think you would be more useful here than there at this point. We've got to do stuff like take furniture apart. Like there's some, there's certain things that I can't do. Um, I can pack boxes, I can clean, which is what I've been doing, but I can't really take apart bunk beds. It's not my strong suit. Um, so he's going to do like some, some furniture taking apart. We've also got to take down our, uh, security system. Probably not yet, but he can go ahead and take, um, some of the cameras down and stuff like that. Um, we'll leave up our actual alarm system but he can take down the cameras, which is going to be a job. Um, so there's just some things that would be nice to have him here. So he's like, maybe let me, he has staff meeting today. So it would also be him getting home really late tonight, but then we would have a full day tomorrow to get stuff done. As opposed to him waiting till tomorrow, we have no full day. <laughs> and the moving truck's coming on Thursday. So um, I hope he actually does get to come home today because I would really appreciate all of the help. I'm getting a little bit panicky thinking about how close it is and how much I have left to do. So here is my plan for today. 
and I'll just carry you guys with me and we'll see how much I can get done. I feel like we are like buddies in this, even though you're not actually here, you kind of feel like you are. <laughs> so I have been putting off cleaning out the fridge for days now um, because I hate it. I hate cleaning out this fridge. It's this fridge. It is a pain to clean. But obviously I want to leave it clean for the new owners. So I'm going to take everything out, clean it. It'll also help me clean out some stuff that needs to be thrown away. Um, you know, little empty things and things that, you know, we're not going to move and not going to eat between now and when we move. So I'm going to get the fridge really clean. I also want to clean the kitchen, like wipe down the countertops, um, organize the stuff that's on the countertops because it's just spilling over everywhere. I need to unload the dishwasher and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that this morning. Um, and then after that, I'm not really sure what to focus on next. I guess just more packing. We're at the point now with the packing that there's still things like there's still things I'm using. Like I can't pack my hair dryer. I can't pack my straightener because we're still using that for Lucy's school. We can't pack um, the kids lunch boxes and lunch stuff. We can't pack clothes that we're going to be wearing. We can't pack um, Nate, Nate's books. I probably could pack some, but we're still like, I still need them to be entertained when they're home. Uh, so we're down to like some books. We're down to one basket of toys and some Legos. We're down to like one little art set for Lucy so we're getting there, but also there's still a lot of stuff that I'm like, oh, I can't pack that yet. Like I'm not packing my coffee. I've actually, I thought about going ahead and packing my coffee maker and just using my espresso maker for the next couple mornings. And then I probably will you put my espresso maker in my van because I don't want it to be in the moving truck and I think it's expensive. So I can pack my coffee maker and then we can use the espresso maker until we move. So there's some things like that I'm just trying to figure out. But y'all come spend the day with me. We're going to get through this day. Even though we're tired, I have a slight headache. I just took a ginger root capsule. So we'll see if it actually gets rid of my headache. Uh, it's probably stress and lack of sleep. Lack of sleep is a huge headache migraine trigger. And I didn't wake up with it. But it's like slowly coming on, like right around this eye. So I took a ginger root capsule. We're going to test that out before we move to stronger medicine because it's not too bad yet. So. All right, guys, I'm going to get started. Let's do this. All right, you guys. So I got the top part of the fridge clean. Um, David's not here to help me take a few things apart. So it's not perfect, but it's way better than um, it was. And it'll be nice and fresh for them. Maybe if we have time, I'll get him to snap. There's this piece of the glass that snaps off. You have to have a lot of strength. And uh, it would be good if I could wipe that down. But anyway, it looks very clean. I'm going to start working on these two drawers. I have been going for like at least 45 minutes. And I clean this often. It is not like it's just built up. It's just... I don't know how stuff gets spilled and then it's very hard to put back together. It's very hard to scrub. Um, I hate cleaning this fridge <laughs> and I do put it off more than I should because of how terrible it is to clean. But anyway, the, these two should go faster. They're not as bad. So I'm going to put, this is all the refrigerator stuff we have. Um, this is all the refrigerator stuff we have right now. There's yogurt, there's cheese, a couple of things of veggies. Um, I'm going to make cinnamon rolls tomorrow. We have one can of cinnamon rolls, coffee creamer. That's really it. So um, I'm going to stick all this stuff back in the fridge. All right, you guys. It is now 1240. I just put Mark down for a rest. I have been going. What time did I tell you all? I was starting like 10. Um, I have been going nonstop, mostly in the kitchen. I got the refrigerator, freezer, all of that cleaned out. Um, probably when we take everything out for the last time, I'll just do a really quick wipe down, but I want to like scrub and all that. Um, I took more stuff out of the cabinets and then I tried to organize the food in like somewhat boxes so it wasn't just spilling out everywhere. Um, I wiped down the oven, I wiped down the appliances. I am exhausted. Um, this season has been honestly probably the one of the most trying times I can remember in a long time. You know, David being gone the last 
12, 13 weeks in a row, weekends in a row, has been really stressful on us. And, you know, he's working hard. I'm working hard. We're, we're getting it done. We're a good team. The only like really hard part is I'm also having the kids, you know, so I can't, it's not like I can just go, go, go. And like, I still have to feed them, do laundry, you know, all the normal mom life stuff, get up with them at one thirty in the morning. And it's just been really extremely hard. And as sad as I am to leave this house and, and all the memories we've made here at the same time, like I'm just so ready for the season of our life to be over. Um, oh man, it's been crazy. So we'll be back together again. Not that we won't have our normal ups and downs of life. Life is not always roses and sunshine, but you know, packing all these months and all of it has just been, it's like taking its toll on me. So Anyway, thank you all for being here through all of it. It really has helped me to vlog every day to have that goal um, has kept me like, I don't know, there's something like very therapeutic about it, like expressing my feelings, having someone to talk to or lots of you to talk to. It's been awesome. So I have about an hour and a half before Nate's going to be home. So I'm going to eat a really quick sandwich or something. And I'm just going to go lay in the bed and just rest um, for a few minutes. Um... I can't do much more until I get more boxes. I do have some big, two of the boxes I bought yesterday. I'm just trying to think of the best way to use those because um, they're really, really sturdy. Once I wash out the coffee pot, I'm going to go ahead and pack that. Um, so I'm going to see. I'm going to think about what the next thing is I need to pack. But for right now, I'm just going to go rest for a little while. I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, you guys. It's loud in here, but Nate did eat all of his lunch. He came home with his Cheez-Its, but he ate those when he got home. And Lucy yeah. has a little bit of the orange and some pepperoni. And they did pretty good. You guys, it came into my bathroom, so the light and the sound may be off, but it is the quietest place to go. The kids are wound up. I think a lot of it is exhaustion. And a lot of it is just everything being weird. And I don't know. They're wound up, so I came in here. It is now like five o'clock, um, so there's been a lot that's been going on, and I'm just now here to update you and looking kind of rough. Um, so I lay down for like a half a second, and Mark ended up getting up, and I just was like, forget it. So didn't really get to rest. David's mom called, and she was like, I'm here dropping off the dog to get boarded, and we got a call that grandma has had some health things uh, happen this morning. I'm not going to go into it on the YouTube video, but she is being taken to the hospital. So we can't leave, obviously, till we know that she's okay. This is David's dad's mom, so his grandma, RGG. And um, so she was like, we'll let you know. I don't know if we're going to get to come. So obviously, we went into like worried for grandma, um, praying that she's okay, and then also trying to figure out what we need to do in terms of, is there a plan B if his parents can't come help us this weekend? How are we going to do this? Um, so David actually is on his way home. He was able to come home today. So that really is helpful. And um, uh, basically, my mom and dad cannot come until Friday when we're going to be already there. So they're meeting us in Arkansas. So David was like, you know what, me and you can do anything and we're just going to get it done. And we do have a couple of guys coming to load our truck, um, but we're only paying them for a couple hours to do the heavy stuff. So me and David want to try to do anything above that ourselves because obviously it's really expensive to like hire movers. Um, so if they do a lot of heavy stuff, we can do the smaller stuff. That's kind of what we're thinking. Um, which is also why we try to make it as easy as possible, moving stuff to the garage, keeping things as light as possible, not like loading down chest or drawers with heavy stuff just to make it quick um, because some of the stuff we're going to be loading <laughs> and I don't want to hurt ourselves. We're not professionals. Um, anyway, so I was just kind of trying to figure out what we're going to do, but then like, you know what, we'll get through it, praying for grandma and, you know, anytime a loved one has to go to the hospital, it's really scary. And then if it's an elderly person, you know, it's, it's just always, it's always scary. 
So we just heard from his mom and dad that she does have pneumonia and they're also ruling out some other stuff. So, but she's okay right now. So they're going to go ahead and come tonight. They're going to get here really late, but they just want us to understand, obviously, if she takes another turn for the worst or, you know, something else happens, they're just going to have to leave, which absolutely that's what we would want them to do. Um, obviously, health comes first over a move. So um, I'm glad that she's doing okay and I'm glad that they're coming and we're just praying that she stays healthy and is able to get out of the hospital. Um, there's also a lot of family. David's whole family lives in like the same city. I'm always so jealous of him. So she has lots of family there. Uh, David's dad is one of four siblings. So um, he feels comfortable. She's stable and all that. So he feels comfortable leaving um, and coming here uh, for the next few days. Unless something happens, we're not that far. They could go back. Um so now I'm just trying to straighten up. I made, we're having like the most random dinner. I made some cinnamon rolls. I'm making some bagel bites. I'm just trying to use up stuff that's in the fridge and the freezer. Um, David won't be here till like 10 o'clock. They won't be here till like midnight. So I'm just trying to make sure we have towels ready for them. Their bed's ready. Kevin is probably going to sleep on the couch because our air mattress is in Arkansas. So I'm going to get him a little blanket and pillow and all that ready. Um, and that's kind of the update. So I will let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm going to get the kids bathed. Nate is beyond tired. Obviously, if he's been up since 1.30, you can probably guess how tired he is. And when he gets tired, he like amps himself up. And so he is wound up and then he keeps saying, I'm so very tired. I'm like, I bet, I bet you are. <laughs> you are tired. Um, they only have two more days of school. He came home with a little note saying, we're going to miss Nate so much. Tomorrow I need to go out and get teacher gifts, even if it's just a little something, just to tell them. Nate has so many teachers and helpers and stuff. I thought about going in and getting like a dozen donuts for them or something that like everybody can participate in because I hate just getting like one teacher a gift when he has so many, but um, I will figure something out. And then I'm also, to tell you this, I'm talking to his new teacher tomorrow on the phone and having like a phone conference. So I'm excited about that. All right. I'm going to go back out there, see what they're getting into right now. And I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, it is now almost time to put the kids to bed. I am so flushed because our heat has been blasting. It's really like cold all of a sudden outside. And I hate the feeling of like a heater being on. And I've turned it way down, but it still keeps coming on. Um, <clears throat> David is like two and a half hours out. His mom and dad are a little bit further. Uh, I just saw a picture of grandma. She's looking great at the hospital. <laughs> she looks awesome. Um, I'm hoping she feels better soon and stays doing well. Um... I'm trying to figure out like something to get the teachers and like have a game plan tomorrow. We have bus drivers and all kinds of helpers. I think the best bet, I don't know. I maybe go to the Dollar Tree and get them like some treats, like especially the bus drivers, make them like a little goodie bag. And then I'm thinking for Nate's teachers, I told y'all this, maybe get a dozen donuts and bring it up to the school. I'm gonna get his main teacher um, a gift card or something. And then for Lucy's teacher, she wants to get her some flowers. So that'll be easy. I can get that on, well, tomorrow I need to get that. Nate's prescription's ready to be picked up. There's like all of these little errands I need to run tomorrow. Have a meeting with his teacher. And also on Thursday, I've got to unenroll them. They won't let me sign all the paperwork till Thursday. So anyway, lots of things like to make sure I get done. The house is looking so good. Like I honestly think if the moving truck came tomorrow, we can make it work, but furniture needs to be taken apart and all that. It'll be better to have a full day in between to do all of that. So poor Nate is so tired. <laughs> He's asked me to go to bed for the last hour and I'm like, let's stay up to at least 745. Um, I don't think him going to bed early is what messed him up. What I have been told in terms of sleep is sleep begets sleep and the more sleep he gets the more he's likely to be have better sleep like when he gets overtired is usually when he has trouble sleeping he could have gotten woken up he could have had a dream who knows but i'm trying to at least hold him out till 
Lucy's almost ready for bed because she's staying in his room tonight since Grammy and Grandpa are coming, and I don't want him to get woken up when she goes to bed. So I'm trying to hold him out. He went and got Teddy. He said, I have my Teddy. Let's go to bed. I'm like, it's 7 o'clock. You can't go to bed yet. So I'm trying to keep him up. But anyway, y'all, I'm so tired of talking and vlogging about moving, and I could venture to guess you guys probably are too. Um, but it is truly all that's going on in our life right now is moving and, you know, things to do with moving. So David did call Lowe's. Here's the hopefully last, well, it's probably not the last uh, refrigerator saga, but David did talk to Lowe's and they said they are giving us our money back, but it could take a few days for it to show up on our account. So hallelujah. And we're Fingers crossed that the refrigerator is going to be delivered from Home Depot on Saturday. We haven't had a call from them or anything saying we're coming, but um, hopefully it will be. Uh, I think they're supposed to call like a day or two before and confirm. But anyway, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so tired, but we're almost there. Hopefully everybody sleeps good tonight. I have one of those. I used to get these drinks from a company called Some Sleep and I was an affiliate with them. They never paid me, but they gave me free um, drinks. They have like magnesium and melatonin in them. And I found a bunch of them when I was packing. <laughs> and so I got them in the fridge. I'm going to drink one tonight and hopefully sleep really good because David will be here. He can help me listen out for the kids. It's, it doesn't knock you out like NyQuil does. Like it just makes you relax and go to sleep. If the kids wake up, I still can get up. I'm not groggy at all with it, but I do like them. <laughs> they make you really just relaxed feeling. So I might drink a some sleep tonight. But anyway, thank y'all for hanging out with me today. And um, two more days, y'all. Two more days. When you guys are watching this on Thursday, we will be like already, you know, about to pack up the truck and, you know, really close to leaving. So, oh my gosh. Anyway, I love you all. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Been feeling something for you lately And I am trying so hard To just stay cool